Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how you can set up auto crafting. Auto crafting is something added by the Applied Energistics 2 mod um, and basically allows you to ask your ME system to uh, automatically craft you a certain amount of a certain item without you having to do it. All you have to do is go into the system, click on the auto craftable thing, craft a thousand of that, and it'll bing bang bong, it'll do it all, uh, all by yourself. Well, I mean, it'll do it all automatically. Bear in mind, it will not give you the materials. You still need the materials in the ME system. As you saw, if I want to craft a thousand flux crystals, I'm going to need 500 redstone quartz and uh, charged surface quartz. Meaning, it's not going to let me start it. But, um, that's how it works. And so, um, you're still going to need the items, but it means it saves you all the time. Uh, you, you're going to need an auto-crafting unit, so I'm going to be showing you how to build an auto-crafting CPU. You're going to need this to, um, uh, to, uh, craft something like this. So as you see, my Flux Crystal, uh, auto-crafting, which is, I've got a tutorial for, which you should definitely watch, it's a great tutorial. Um, for that to work, you're going to need an auto-crafting CPU. This is what my design is, and I think it's okay. Um, I quite like this design. It's your choice um, how you design it, but I'll be showing you my very end of it. So to craft it, you're going to or to build one. You're going to need two crafting code processing units, two 64Ks, six interfaces, six molecular assemblers. Uh, I would recommend 30 acceleration cards because you're five per molecular assembler, but they're not essential. So like you can build one and then start using that to auto craft acceleration cards. Um, then it can hold 60 patterns and you can also connect up uh, dense smart cables to it. So my my variant or my design uses seven channels per and as I just said has 60 pattern storage. So let's just, uh, ah, there we are. Uh, let's just put this, there we are. Okay, so to build it, you're gonna want to have effectively, the design is an alternating design. So it's set up like this. It, it's, it can be set up like this, it doesn't really matter the exact way it's set up. Then you uh, then you alternate it with ME interfaces and molecular assemblers. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's got a molecular assembler above the 64k or not. As you see, this is alternating to that design, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm doing this design so it matches this one, but if you do it the other way, that's completely fine. Another thing to note is you connect in the dense smart cable to um, the uh, to either crafting code processing unit. It doesn't matter which. Um, so that's your choice. I'm doing it to my crafting code processing unit just because I feel like it. Um, so yeah, this is how you set it up. And then bing bang bong, we now have a crafting CPU. So this thing basically... It's designed so you have 128,000 bit of bytes available for auto crafting per CPU. Basically, in case you have no idea what I just said there, when you ask a computer to auto craft something, it will uh, use a temporary amount of bytes. To say that I craft thousands of bits, that's going to use 3,040 bytes to do so. That basically means 3,040 bytes are, being, are not available whilst that's crafting. Once it's finished crafting, you get the bytes back, but it basically means you can have maybe, say that we've got 128,000, you can only have something like 40,000, 40, um, so, so you could uh, effectively have, four, uh, I think it's 400,000 um, flux crystals being crafted at the max. So if I try to craft 40,000, yeah. Oh, so you can only, so you can only have forty thousand crafted at a time. Um, otherwise, it won't let you because that's how many bytes, and it caps to one hundred twenty-eight thousand per CPU. Meaning, if you have five CPUs and you could craft two hundred thousand flux crystals, but um, I personally would recommend sixty-four K ones because it does help, especially when I'm auto crafting. Um, maybe let's say iron blocks to make a singularity for av for the average mod um i quite like doing, i quite like having um lots of uh like uh, i if i craft 11000 blocks that uses up around 120000 bytes and i'd prefer to have more yep so as you see this is um this side set it up 
for the acceleration cards, you're going to put five in each molecular assembler. This is what I would recommend. It speeds it up greatly. Um, there we are. There we are. And there we are. So then uh, for how to set up the actual auto crafting. So you're going to need a pattern terminal for this. And basically how it works is this, this should be on crafting pattern. Then you've got a bunch of options. There's um, clear uh, or dip substitutions and then your crafting grid. You put the blank patterns here, then you click and code pattern once it's set up. Uh, audit substitution, so it's like this, that means it will not use di different uh, different thing, uh, different blocks using the same or dictionary. So that means if I want to craft, let's say, what's something else with the same or dictionary name. See that I searched up? Does stone have any others? Um, hmm. So diamond or possibly uh it basically means anything with the same um with the same or dictionary has uh is used so as you see that says or diamond meaning um anything else with the same type of or diamond is going to be used for this meaning i think that's especially big with chisel say that we do at chisel um this is all stone and site, meaning it'll use any types of chiseled blocks, which is quite nice. If you want to turn that on, you click on that, meaning it will use different types. And if it's set just like just the iron bar, it won't. Say that you want to set up maybe, let's say, door auto crafting. It does not use up the block um, when you set up a pattern, oh, which is quite nice. Um, but as you see, you put the planks and you put the item in the way you want it to be set up. You then click encode pattern. This gives you a pattern. You can then go over to the ME interface and you can put it in. As you see, each takes, oh, actually, it takes uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it takes nine per. I'm an idiot, sorry. That means it takes 54 patterns per. I'm an idiot, not 60. Sorry. Um, and that means it'll say using substitutions. No. And that then means, as that's put in there, we'll now be able to see here door auto crafting so if we want to craft a thousand doors we're gonna need two thousand planks um see up we could try putting this in and see and so as you see one thing one quite cool thing says we want to craft maybe uh 700 doors if you see that's crafting it's now going to be crafting this this is what acceleration cards do if i take them out see how slow it is that's the difference between this, that is without acceleration cards. This is with acceleration cards. It's so much faster with acceleration cards. This is why I would recommend it. As you see, these are all crafting. And then now we have 700 wooden doors. Because obviously that's the most useful thing in the world. See up. So that is how order crafting works. You're going to need a crafting CPU if you want to set up a modded or something else that is not um, is not crafted using a CPU. Let's say flux crystals for that crafting. You're going to put the pattern in the ME interface, which is which is attached to the block, but um, it still uses a crafting CPU to craft it. So you're still going to need a crafting CPU with spare bytes uh, to craft something like that. And this this is uh, especially important when you're using like sag mills and alloy smelters auto crafting. So I hope this tutorial helped and you've understood it. If you've got any questions, just comment below and I'll uh, try and respond to them. If you want to join my Discord server, that's also in the description. You should definitely do. That'd be great. Bye. Have fun. Hope to see you in another episode. Bye.